What is going on, fellow fans of Clash of Clans? It's your host, Galadon, and I know a bunch of you have been waiting for a new Strange But True episode. That's right, Clash of Clans' strangest but true bases, many banned, many impossible, breaking the laws of Clash physics, and I would love to bring you this series more frequently, but it's been difficult to find these type of bases. So, we're going to get into a few new ones today, take a look at a couple of old ones that have changed since the old days. Yes, we'll reflect back onto the old days of Clash of Clans, but also, let's take a look right away at a couple of my strangest bases. How about this one right here that, well, could possibly be the only Town Hall 13 in existence in the game that has no heroes whatsoever. So, yes, it is true. No heroes. I brag about it with my walls that are uh, kind of bugged as well. But to get to Town Hall 13 with no heroes is supposed to be impossible. You're not supposed to be able to get there unless you've built everything. And, of course, I've used a few shovels to put these stones over off to the side to make it look even stranger. But this village isn't only seemingly impossible. It also has broken Clash of Clans. All right, what do I mean by that? Well, we have to go to... The last season, the season where we had the Pirate Queen, and check out the Gold Pass. So, if you recall, during that Gold Pass season, if you purchase the Gold Pass... Oh, wait a minute. Well, okay. If you're going to go purchase the Gold Pass, you probably should remember, like I did, to go to Settings, to go to More Settings, to scroll all the way to the bottom, and then to Support a Creator. Now, when I say support a creator, this does not cost you anything, okay? The creator that you choose to type in here will get about 5% of what you spend on the game during the next seven days. Now, you need a creator code that works. You can't just put in any random name. But if you choose to put in a name other than Galadon, please do at least use your creator code, okay? There's so many, literally millions of players that don't use this. And this is a free gift from Supercell to all Clash content creators. So we would love to have you guys use our codes. It does help pay the bills, keep the lights on. I do genuinely appreciate it. And of course I take the money and use it to buy gift cards for giveaways, Clash swag to give away, and of course giving money to charity every single month. Now, if you're looking for the right name, it does start with G-A-L-A-D-O-N. There you go. Okay, so we cut that. Longest ever use code gallon on shoutout done, but what I wanted really to emphasize is at least use it on some creator, even if you don't want to use it on me. Okay, so we got that done, and now we're going to go ahead and buy the gold pass for $4.99. And again, if you recall the Pirate Queen season, there was something kind of cool and kind of different that was along that trophy gem juice road river, whatever it is, this thing right here. Okay. So right along the, actually it was the free side. You didn't have to buy the gold pass. It was along the free side at the bottom. Everybody got the storied statue, which was pretty cool because even completely free to play players picked up a really cool kind of unique statue with a really interesting animation. So let's go ahead and claim the statue here on this account. All right, so trying to claim the statue on my strange no heroes base has caused the game to crash. Now, I thought this was, you know, not that unusual because it has happened before. Notice all of the unplaced buildings. This is not the first time that I've dealt with this. So let's try it one more time. Go ahead and find the storied statue. We are on the home village right now and we click on claim. And again, we have the same problem. Now I was beginning to think that this was permanent, that I was never going to be able to play this account again because I had screwed with the system, I had broken the laws of Clash Physics by not having any heroes placed, and uh, yeah, so I tried this a few more times, and eventually we realized that, you know what, this has happened before, and there is a workaround for this. It involves going over to the Builder Base, and then, strangely enough, from the Builder Base, we go back to the Gold Pass, we go to the Storied Statue, and now we can claim it. We can successfully pick it up. And now that we're on the builder base, we just pop back on over to the home village and... Okay, so we can restart the app one more time, one final time. And this time we are able to cross back over the water, get back to the home village. And now, believe it or not, we have eight unplaced buildings in this No Heroes Galadon 13 point huh? account. 
So that is how it came to be. And we have learned this one over time because at this point, out of those eight unplaced buildings, three of them are actually like statues. The other four heroes and then a scatter shot that we bought with the Town Hall 13 pack when we went to Town Hall 13 for the very first time. Now, of course, this is not only what I'm covering in today's episode. I wanted to show you guys a few other things and also remind you that I'm out there soliciting the strange but true. Now, watch this one very carefully as we are looking for bases. And if you blink, you might miss it. As we were going from base to base, we went and we found a base between the clouds here. Did you see it right there? Ismael Town Hall 7. Let's go back real quick and check this out again. But it said he was a Town Hall 7, but as the clouds clear, he is actually a Town Hall 10. So, strange but true? Okay, okay, fine. It's not strange but true. But here's the point. The reason I put this in here is because this is about the quality of strange but true I've been getting told about. I, I really need you guys to help me find the truly strange but true. I need the true strange hunters out there to help me find the weirdest villages that exist. Now, it just so happens that I probably own two of them, okay? I've got Galadon 11.0 right here, and yes, obviously, it is very unusual. No walls, doesn't have all of the required buildings. It's a Town Hall 11. It only has one defense. It's a level one cannon. Now, the reason I kept this base around is because this was created back before the requirement existed, and that requirement was put into place when Town Hall 12 was built. Now, the one building I am upgrading is this elixir collector because I found that if I don't at least generate some elixir, then I can't afford to keep the obstacles cleared from the base. So we are upgrading one elixir collector. That way we can get the obstacles out of the way. Yes, I did use some shovels to move my eighth anniversary cakes around in that nice little formation. Now, I do have some cool skins on this account. I've got the uh, Party King, obviously. I have the Mulan, that's my favorite queen skin right there, the Mulan Warrior Queen skin. And then I have the Grand Warden, his skin is the Party Warden, so I think I'll pass. You know, this account, I don't think it's ever going to be improved much beyond where it is right now. Occasionally, I have bought packages for it just to upgrade the heroes. So, yeah, I mean, that's about as strange but true that it gets out there right now, right? Oh, it, we've got some free gems to pick up while we're here. But while we are on this account, let's go ahead and use it to take a look at one or two other strange but true accounts that do still exist. And that is kind of cool to see that every now and then players are able to find strange bases that probably shouldn't be in Clash of Clans at all, starting out with Pluton. Now, this Pluton account, this guy, we actually looked at him a couple of years ago. And the cool thing about this is that his buildings are being upgraded and it's quite possible that the game is doing the upgrade for him. Now, yes, he is unusual because he has no troops unlocked whatsoever. And that is strange, right? I mean, that should not be the case. He's got some storages, some pumps, a couple of gold mines, one camp and the clan castle. So obviously this is a very old account and it's in a clan called Goodbye. But I thought it was really cool to take a look at the base as it is right now. And now let's flash back to 2018. Now and then then. Okay. Now, one more time, then. And you can see that the buildings have been upgraded. Apparently, that is a feature within Clash that happens to players that don't log on for a long period of time. Now, before I wrap up this episode, I wanted to give a quick shout out to the original Strange But True episode and its content creator, that is the 2015 Galadon, and let's go ahead and look at the strangest village ever being covered for the first time. no camps. It's got a level 5 mortar. It's got level 8 cannons. What is going on here? This is absolutely an anomaly, an impossibility. Check out those elixir and gold storages, and nothing else. No collectors, no mines, and it gets even stranger. What is this? This is from the Goblin Villages, and look at that name, TID Decoration Goblin Pole. So you've got some Goblin Poles in this village, not just one, but you've got several. You've got three of them here, one at the top of the village as well. And then, okay, uh, Sunflower Bed, not a big deal. Okay, so let's scroll out, check out these rocks. What's up with these rocks? Come on, those are some strange stones, and look at their formation. This is like some sort of Stonehenge thing going on here. These weird little wizard hat stones at the bottom. And what's this? 
There's no clan castle. What the heck? This guy's the leader of a clan. And he has All right, yeah. so there you go. That's the original, the Revenge Clan ARL. Yes, still in the game is this account. This is looking at this today. Here he is. Unfortunately, yes, probably because of my video, the village was fixed. It's no longer strange but true. But perhaps you guys can be the true strange but true hunters and find those new strange but true bases. And if you do, tag me on Twitter at hashtag strange but true COC and I will hook you up with some gift cards. We are definitely going to reward those players, those hunters that find me the truly strange but true. Most recently, this guy on Twitter, I don't know his name, but I have definitely messaged him and offered him a gift card reward for finding this base. And had we been able to verify this by visiting the base, this would have been worth a lot more because it looks absolutely crazy as we go check out a Town Hall 1 that has all of the heroes and many maxed out troops and spells that are way too high level to be a Town Hall 1 until you scroll down and see that it actually says it's a Town Hall 13. So something is funky, something is wrong right here. And then you can't look at the village at all. That just forever keeps trying to load. And you guys are welcome to go check this one out yourself in the game. But here's the thing. So when you finally do go ahead and click the visit button, it just crashes your game. So yeah, it's going to crash the game and that's going to be the extent of it. I would love to have seen this in person, an actual base that looked like this that was a Town Hall 1, but there you go again. Back to the home screen that is a screenshot of me beating the lead of the developer team of Clash Royale in a game of Clash Royale. That's my claim to fame in Royale. But yeah, so kind of a cool account, but again, uh, probably just a glitch. Not so much that strange but true, but man, if we could have gotten in and seen this actual village, that would have been crazy. So continue to find those for me, you guys. I will continue to hand out the big dollar rewards, beat ARL's Goblin Pole, and get yourself a $100 iTunes, Google Play, or Amazon gift card. As always, you guys, thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You are the true Galifam. That's why I love thinking about it, and I appreciate every single one of you every single day. So make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Galadon, I've got a mega gym box, that's strange but true, isn't it?